peace, power, and much tranquility over you and all of your houses. Where you might not have total peace, may your spirit be in a space and place that you can navigate through whatever is going on in your life. I know I posted in one place, but I'll let you know here that I'm on a hiatus. We've experienced a very close tragedy in our lives and going through the healing process from that. So at this time, my spirit isn't coming up with too much poetry or words of wisdom for you. However, I did manage to write some thoughts down and I'd like to share that. I'd like to share that. Uh, my stepson, my husband's son, 21 years old, was killed. He was killed a couple of weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, and we had to go to Jacksonville to attempt to take care of things and lay him to rest and get to the bottom of the who, what, where, when, why, how of what happened. And given the preliminary facts, um, my heart and my mind are telling me what the what. In any case, we're dealing with that, so time is needed. So I think I'll entitle this The Crock of Tears. The Crock of Tears. Oh, if I can sample your tears, what story and truths would the chemical components tell? When you find that hidden nook where you dwell in spirit with God, all else fades in the mist. No narratives with villains and spun tales where bitter earths and sunken suns take pleasure in carnage. Pseudo whispers and a wish, a wish that the words fall on deaf ears. Does the phoenix know what life dwells in pond scum? Nor shall the anointed. Fraction of faction stories told. Narrative that suits your needs is the one that was sold. Bother to know truth so you're not kissed by the viper. Allowing the victim to be cradled by the very sniper. Ah yes, we gonna keep the money flowing in the temple. Right? Scratching my temple of time taken to cut out and erase the portion of love that created the space for yearning, seeing, desiring something better. You'd rather hold the bitter and spread naked fiction. Such affliction. Murmurs behind us regarding bloodline and guises. No knowledge of law and legality. But who am I? No. Why would I care to correct this? In times of sorrow, there will be the vultures. Deal accordingly. As always, your evolution will make you unrecognizable to most. And that is a blessing. As always, be the light to those who need to feel the warmth of your shine. And know when to be darkness to those who need to feel the cool of your shade. In all things, there is light. You be that illumination. My name is Trinia Murphy. And I am Ponder Kwan.